Hello, and welcome to Higher Computing for Everyone. I made this course in the hopes that those of you who are seeking to learn programming would be able to. I realize that programming is very technical, and I admire anyone who seeks out to learn this discipline. You are beginning a great journey, and that deserves congratulations. To help motivate you, consider the reward at the end of your journey. Once you learn this skill, you will have many opportunities open to you that were not open before. You will be able to have access to better paying jobs or perhaps even to create your own product and start your own company. At the very least, you will have access to far more tools that will enable you to do more than you could do before. Therefore, I encourage you to stay with this course and complete each and every lesson. When you go through the lessons in this course, I encourage you to go through each lesson word for word methodically. Never cut and paste the sample programs. Always write them out yourself. By skipping ahead, it is easy to miss important information. And I promise you that everything presented to you in these lessons is well thought out, useful, and you should study it fully. Also, don't skip any lessons or skip ahead in any videos. Always make sure that you master the material in one lesson before you proceed to the next. I have written every lesson in order to prepare for the next, and no lesson is designed to be studied without having studied all of the lessons that came before. So many lessons might seem overwhelming, and if so, I want to assure you that while there is a lot of material in this course, I go through it slowly and in a way that will hopefully not confuse you. If you ever do get stuck, simply post your question at the bottom of each lesson or video. Unlike a book, this is an interactive course where you have direct access to myself and many others who are more than willing to help you to ensure that you can achieve your goals. It might be that in the past you have tried to learn programming and couldn't. It may also be that you have learned a programming language, perhaps from a book, but you are not able to actually sit down and make something. There is a difference between knowing a programming language, such as what a book teaches, and knowing how to actually make something useful. Most programming tutorials focus on how to do the most basic programming instructions like if, then, else, and while statements. All of the focus is on how a particular language does these things. Every programming language has this functionality. They all do it in their own unique way. Very rarely do any of these tutorials explain beyond this. As a result, there are many people out there who have learned programming, which effectively means that they can write a program so long as it consists of giving someone a prompt to type some text, doing some simple processing, and then finally displaying some text to the screen. This is what virtually every book you will buy at a bookstore will give you the, the ability to do. For this reason, there are plenty of people out there who understand how to write a program and can probably effectively read someone else's source code, but they could never go out and actually build something. So with that in mind, what is it that separates people who can make useful applications and games from people who can only write the most basic of programs? The answer is libraries. Libraries are the tools you need as a programmer to actually make useful programs. In short, libraries provide you with functions that you can call rather easily in order to actually put your programming knowledge to work. For example, nothing in the core language of C gives you the ability to draw a circle, but a graphics library might well have a function called draw circle. This is how advanced applications and games are built. These libraries themselves are put together and packaged for programmers to use, and then the language serves as an interface between the programmer and the libraries. 
We will be spending a great deal of time working with these types of libraries to build real, usable programs and games.